Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In today's video, we will be discussing one of the most critical aspects of construction, column size and steel reinforcement for building ranging from 1 story to 4 stories. If you are planning to build your own house or are interested in learning more about civil engineering, this video is for you. We will break it down into simple steps and provide examples to help you understand the concept clearly. So let's get started. So understanding column size. Now let's talk about size of column in building. Columns are structural elements that transport the load from the roof, floors and walls down to the foundation. The right column size is crucial for the stability of the building. For one to two story buildings. For buildings with one or two stories, the column size is generally smaller because the load is lighter. We typically use a 9 inch by 9 inch or 9 inch by 12 inch column. So, we will take example of this plan. Okay. So, let us say you are constructing a small two story house with concrete floors and brick walls. A 9 inch into 9 inch column is sufficient to carry load of the building. You can see it is 9 inch by 9 inch column. Wall thickness is also 9 inch and it, this is a 2 story building. We will have columns placed at the corners of the house and in between. You can see corners of the house and in between. Okay. Depending on the design, this ensures the load is evenly distributed. Okay. So, for buildings with one or two stories, column size is 9 inch by 9 inch or 9 inch by 12 inch column. For small house, two, small two story house. Okay. Now, for three to four story buildings. So, as the number of stories increase, so does the load on the column three to four story buildings, we need larger columns to support the additional weight. Typically, we use 12 inch by 12 inch or 12 inch by 18 inch columns. 12 inch by 12 inch or 12 inch by 18 inch columns okay, for this type of structures for three to four story buildings. Okay. Now, you can see this is a three story buildings plan. Okay. So, this is just an example. So, let us consider a four story apartment building or four story, four story building. The load of each floor will be transferred down to the columns. So, we need columns that can handle much more weight. A 12 inch by 12 inch column is ideal for such building. So, this is 12 inch by 15 inch. Okay. But 12 inch by 12 inch columns is ideal for such buildings. These columns are thicker and stronger, preventing any bending or shifting over time. Okay. So, mostly 12 inch by 12 inch or 12 inch by 18 inch, it is given. So, here in this case, it is 12 inch by 15 inch. Okay. Now that we have covered column size, let us move on to the most important part of any concrete structure that is steel reinforcement. This is also known as saria. Steel bars are used inside the concrete columns to resist tension and prevent cracks under heavy loads. Without the proper amount of steel, columns may fail under pressure. Now, for 1 to 2 story buildings. For smaller buildings with 9 inch by 9 inch or 9 inch by 12 inches columns, the steel reinforcement required is moderate. Typically, we use 4 to 6 bars of 12 mm diameter as the main reinforcement. Okay. So, if we will take one example like 9 inch by 9 inch column for 2 story house, we can use 4 bars of 12 mm steel along with the main bars. We will use stirrups, small steel hooks placed at regular intervals to hold the main bars in position. 
the steel of the typically 8 mm or 10 mm diameter steel placed at 6 inch intervals to provide extra strength so next for 3 to 4 story buildings for taller buildings we need more reinforcement due to the increased load a 12 inch by 12 inch or 12 inch by 18 inch column required 6 to 8 bars of 16 mm or 20 mm diameter as the main reinforcement along with stronger stirrups of 10 mm or 12 mm for example a 12 inch by 12 inch column in a four story building you might use 6 bars of 16 mm steel this stirrup should be of 10 mm diameter and spaced at 6 inch intervals this ensures that the column can carry the weight of multiple stories safely okay now practical examples with real life building so let me show you a real world example let's assume we are building a four story residential building the dimension of the column are 12 inch by 12 inch for this building the total load will include the weight of the roof floors walls and additional factors like wind and seismic forces this wind uh, wind load seismic or earthquake load these also will be included no so the columns must be designed to handle all these loads okay now if we'll calculate the load from the floors and roof we need to ensure that each column can support about 25 ton of loads with 6 bars of 16 mm steel and 10 mm stirrups at 6 inch intervals we will ensure that the column remains stable and free from cracks or bending under the pressure okay now why correct steel reinforcement is crucial many people tend to overlook the importance of steel reinforcement in columns but it's essential incorrect or insufficient reinforcement can lead to crack structural failure and even collapse of the building over time it's always important to follow the recommended guidelines and get your design approved by a professional engineer or a structural engineer now for one to two story buildings use 9 inch by 9 inch or 9 inch by 12 inch columns with 4 to 6 bars of 12 mm steel reinforcement and 8 to 10 mm stirrups at 6 inch intervals for 3 to 4 story buildings use 12 inch by 12 inch or 12 inch by 18 inch columns with 6 to 8 bars of 16 mm or 20 mm steel along with 10 to 12 mm stirrups at 6 inch intervals so always ensure the column size and steel reinforcement are designed based on the load and approved by a structural engineer to ensure the safety and stability of the building the column size and steel reinforcement depends on the height and design of your building for one to two story buildings as we have already discussed you can use 9 inch by 9 inch column with 12 mm steel while for three to four story buildings you will need 12 inch by 12 inch columns for with 16 mm to 16 mm or 12 mm steel but always remember the safety of the building depends on proper column sizing and steel reinforcement if you are unsure it's always best to consult a professional engineer or a structural engineer so if you found this video helpful make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel for more civil engineering tips and this kind of videos also hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates if you have any question or you want to know anything about civil engineering or uh, about this column design feel free to leave a comment below Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.